Loading and Shooting the Duck Foot Pistol. William Hovey Smith, 2012. I'm Hovey Smith. I'm the corresponding editor for Black Powder for the Gun Digest Annual. And this is part of a series I'm doing on self-defense guns then and now. This is a rather strange pistol. It is called a duck foot because it has three barrels that somewhat resemble the toes of a duck. Yet, this was used as a crowd control gun. It is a type of gun known as a volley gun in that all three barrels are fired at once. Hopefully, what would happen if I shot at you, for example, and you are about four feet away from the muzzle of the gun, the central barrel would hit you, and the flanking barrels hit the guy on either side of you. Yeah, well, that's how it was supposed to work. Or, if I inverted the pistol 90 degrees, then you would get all three bullets in various parts of the body. Hmm, okay. Now, that's theory. Uh, what happened in fact? Well, we're actually going to shoot the gun and see. Uh, right now though, I want to tell you about what we had to do to actually make it work. This is a kit and a previous video we showed you how to build it. Now we have it functional. Okay, first off, make sure it's not loaded. No, 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 all right. Then, if you have a gun like this that shoots a patched round ball, one convenient test is to take a ball without a patch, drop it down the barrel. If it goes down the barrel and rolls out, like yay, sure that you don't have an obstruction in it. Okay. Now, the second thing to see is, is the pistol functional? Will it actually discharge materials through all three barrels? But we are going to see how it does with percussion caps. You'll notice on this table there's absolutely nothing having to do with power. Okay. And I'm wearing earplugs. So we're going to see if it will shoot and discharge fire and material through all three barrels. It did shoot and I do see material coming through all three barrels. Okay, let's see if it will do it again. I'm going to put a little piece of stuff here. and proves this first part of a self-defense pistol. It's got to work when you pull the trigger. To make that happen, I actually had to reduce the diameter of this nipple a little bit because it was wedging the cap on it and it was taking so much force to seat the cap that it would not fire the priming compound, which is no good at all. So we got that saw. All right, so we're going to load it. Well, we're going to use a revolver loading stand here and hook the hammer, the yay, which is not the best method. Now I'm going to move the camera up a little bit and get some powder and we'll show you how to load it. To load the pistol, I'm going to weigh out 12 grains of Triple FG black powder and that's the recommended load from the manufacturer. So, okay. Too much. Okay. Guess that's about right. Getting close, so we need to add a little bit back. Okay. Exactly 12 grains. Then a little funnel from a cutoff cartridge case. Put it here in the barrel. I'm going 
to add a felt wad. This is a 36 caliber wad, and this will actually give a little bit higher velocity. So we'll add that so we can get the most we can get out of this load. Push it on. Then take a pre cut pack, although you could certainly cut your own. Just happen to have some that fit. Put a little boar butter on it. This is from Thompson Center. It's actually about the same as Wonder Lube, I believe. Put that over the barrel, like yay. The ball. Seat it over the center of the patch. Move it around a little bit. There we go. Crimp it a little bit so it'll hold. Short starter here. Okay, seat it down in the barrel and then push it home. Alright, now that sounded a little bit rough. I suspect the bore on this gun is rough as a cob, but okay. So this is how you load it. And of course you load the other two barrels exactly the same way. By happenstance, we have a long enough piece of cardboard that we can actually see something and three zombies out there at about 10 yards. So we're going to see what happens here. Okay, one shot away. Well, the first volley resulted in absolutely no hits at all. So we are going to try with the second. At about five yards. can't say I know where they're going, but they're not going anywhere in that cardboard. Now I promise you there really were balls in there. Well, the second volley did no better than the first. So we're going to try one more with actually the pistol being held like that. And we'll see what he will do at about five yards. Well, I see one hit. There are actually two hits in the paper. One missed boneyard bill but was above his head and the other one is in the cardboard approximately a foot below so if you had a six foot fellow and he was five yards away you turn the pistol sideways and that way maybe you could put three balls in it instead of this way all right well I guess that in my life I have sometimes shot worse self-defense pistols, but uh, can't say I remember any quite so bad. Well, what of the mighty duck foot pistol? Well, it seems it wasn't really a terrible practical arm. Uh, for one thing, its very shape makes it very difficult to carry. Uh, the barrels are not long enough to actually fit in a sash or a holster or carry very conveniently even in a pistol box since it has a profile like that and would be a rectangular box compared to a normal pistol box which is quite flat. Uh, doesn't do well in a pocket. 
So you'd fairly well have to prepare it immediately before use and carry it in hand to use it. Well, that doesn't do much for portability. So far as power goes, if you use the recommended load, you'd be discharging 33.6 grains of powder and 192 grains of lead per volley distributed between three shots. Oh. If a person were hit with one, not likely to be very disabling, hit with all three, um, somewhat more so, but only at very close range. Uh, you witnessed how difficult it was to hit with 10 yards. Woof! So this is a five yard and closer gun. Uh, best used against a single opponent. Hell that way, if you really got to. Hmm. So as I see it, not really a very practical gun to use in almost any situation I can think of, except perhaps as a crowd control piece. Now if you had six people armed with these pistols standing side by side and a bunch of folks in front of them, well, yeah, somebody's going to catch some lead, and it might well not be the person who was necessarily shot at. So what? So there you have the duck foot. Yeah, interesting piece of firearm technology, but I don't think a very practical piece then or now. I hunt with muzzle-loading guns, and my newest book is Extreme Muzzle-Loading. Also talk about muzzle-loaders and backyard deer hunting. The load I actually used in this pistol is a factory-recommended load of 12 grains of triple FG and a patch 350 round ball. Now, for those who want to consider this gun for self-defense, I did stouter loads that are going to be reported on a subscription channel on how to safely get improved results from muzzle-loading guns. Goodbye, and God bless.